I learned a lot from growing up in the family I was born into. My father died when I was a small child, and I was raised really by my mother, who was a single mom. My mom is from Appalachia. She only had a sixth grade education. She grew up without running water or electricity. She worked cleaning houses and working in fast food restaurants when I was a kid. My entire childhood was spent below the poverty line. I saw how a single working woman struggled. I grew up obviously as a gay person and I experienced what homophobia does to people. When I left for college, I was a first generation college student, the first person in my family to graduate from university. So I grew up with an intimate experience of issues of sexism and racism and homophobia and classism. And those experiences have not left me. I really came to hear about Land Illegal in the early 1990s when I was starting Glisten and we began working together. I really came to know the organization very well when we worked together on the Nabuzny case. The Nabuzny case was a groundbreaking case in which Jamie Nabuzny, a Wisconsin teenager, was repeatedly bullied and harassed because of his sexual orientation and the school did nothing about it. And Lambda's brilliant attorneys set a precedent that schools could be held liable for failing to address bullying and harassment based on sexual orientation back in the mid-1990s, almost 25 years ago. And I developed such respect and admiration for Lambda at that time because of their ability to persuade judges to interpret the laws in new ways and to win new protections for LGBT youth. And it's typical of the types of precedents that Lambda has set during the 40 years it has existed that has led to historic protections for LGBTQ people. I believe that Lambda is the most critical defense we have against the oncoming assault we're going to face from the right wing through the courts. That's why I feel humbled and honored to be asked to take the helm here at Lambda at this time, because I think that it is a crucial moment in which we're going to see a well-planned, well-executed onslaught on our rights.